All right, good morning, everybody. We made it to that magical day of the week again, Friday, uh, last day of the work week. We started the weekend. Uh, as you can see, we're in the sleeper truck again. We got the purple truck, just like we had last week. I'll explain to you what's going on with that um, in a little bit. I thought I was going to be in the white truck, but uh, things happened this week, so uh, we're still in this one. <laughs> uh, guess we're going to get snow tomorrow. Winter storm warning already up for five to seven inches of snow tomorrow, so winter's not over yet, even though it is March 11th. So, uh, good thing about March snow is that it usually disappears in a couple days, so uh, it shouldn't last long like it would if it were December or January. But yeah, we're gonna get a little bit more snow. Winter's not over yet, but anyway, once we get going, we'll uh, talk more about why I'm still in this purple truck and some other stuff along the way. Let's see what kind of sunrise we have this morning. We're gonna go down this hill, curve off to the right here, and then curve off pretty good to the left, and then we should be looking right at the sunrise. And well, it's not the most spectacular one I've ever seen. It looks pretty cool with the uh, sun lighting up some of the high cirrus clouds and airplane contrails. So. Uh, Let's see what it looks like when we get around this bend down here and climb up the hill before we get off the freeway. Our exit's coming up right down here, uh, about a mile. But freeway kind of runs west-southwest um, all the way to Harrisburg before it goes more south again down toward Hagerstown. It's north-south freeway, but pretty much through the whole coal region here it runs uh, almost east-west, uh, northeast-southwest times. But here it curves around and runs due south for a little bit, almost to the east. If I had a compass on the truck, we'd see what it actually had, but. Oh, boy, this guy's really slow here. Do I pass him? I got left. Yeah, he's gonna lose it. I don't really like doing this so close to an exit, but. He looks pretty heavy. A little bit hazy, but um, you can see what I'm talking about, how the sun is lighting up the exhaust trails from the air airplanes and the cirrus clouds up orange. Now next week will be daylight savings time. We're going to move the clocks ahead an hour this weekend and uh, it'll be dark again when I come down here for a couple weeks. Because this is uh, 614 right now. Next week this will be 715 so it'll be a little bit dark in the morning again for a few weeks until things even out. But it'll be light later in the evening it'll be light till almost 7 30 at night so the trade-off is uh less light in the morning more light in the night all right so a nice muted sun gives a nice soft light on the face for video work so uh figured to walk away from the truck and uh talk to you a little bit we're down here loading and like i said i'm in the purple mac again today the reason for that is uh actually for the last three weeks I've been in different trucks. I've been in that Freightliner I was in last summer for a while. I've been in this Purple Mac. Um, the guy that got his brand new truck, he got it last Friday and uh, by Sunday he was complaining that it was out of a line and the steering wheel was crooked and it wasn't shifting right. So uh, they ran it back over to Mac Monday morning and then put him back in the white truck that was supposed to be mine, which was his originally before he got the new one. So my red truck is over at Mac getting some things fixed on it that's uh, still under warranty. So, like I said, for the last three weeks, I've been in different trucks. Um, I'm supposed to get that white one. Um, that needs a few issues uh, to take care of. These trucks all have miles on them, and um, when they're run as hard as they are, 
things go wrong with them and they need to be fixing. So, but that was supposed to go to the shop and get some things looked at, but then they had to break it out for an emergency and put the guy who used to drive it back in it again. So I'm sure he's frustrated too. He gets a brand new truck, drove it two days and had to go to the shop. So anyway, hopefully maybe uh, sometime next week I'll get the truck and I can put my tools in it and my CB in it and everything else and can play a musical truck. So I don't have tools. I don't have CB. So if anything goes wrong, uh, I can't maybe do a quick road repair to get it back to the shop. I can't find out uh, if there's accidents like last week. You know, if I would have had CB in the truck, I would have probably known that that wreck was being cleared up and I could have stayed on the freeway instead of taking that funky little detour that we took in the last video. So anyway, that's how it's playing out. Um, once I get my truck, things will be better, but right now... Uh, for all I know, I could be in a different truck again next week. They may need this purple one for something, and I'll be in something different again. So, No sense in putting my stuff in them for a couple days and then I have to take it back out again. So I'm just waiting until I get my assigned truck, and then I'll put everything in that I want in it, and we'll be good to go. But we're loading right now, and uh, once we're done, we'll get rolling. All right, so we are here and we are waiting on the receiver to uh, come out and check us in so we can hook up and get this first one unloaded. Uh, I got here right at eight o'clock this morning. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I have to call the front office. I have no access to uh, the pump room or anything like that. So I have to call the front office. They have to come out with paperwork and do all that kind of stuff, break the seal and, uh, and get me going here. And then when I'm done, then if they don't come out before I'm finished, I have to uh, call back up front and uh, page them to have them come out and turn the pump off so that I can unhook because uh, I won't unhook with the pump running because then it just sucks air. So anyway, we're here and uh, we're waiting. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. It's Friday and you know what Fridays mean. We want to get home as early as possible. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you later on. All right, so we are loading the second one. First one got delivered. Uh, came out in a timely manner and got that unloaded and down here unloading the second one we're kind of ahead of schedule so far um we'll see what happens when we uh go down to allentown with that last one that's the one that usually can give us a problem uh but we'll see how that goes but i got a phone call uh the musical truck saga continues when i get back tonight i gotta drop this trailer and uh, I'm going to go back in the freight liner, that, that cream colored freight liner, for a couple days until my white Mac is ready to go. Um, the other driver that drives one of our blue Macs, his truck broke down and he needs this one. And so that means I got to give it up, go back into the freight liner because the new truck is back. Um, the guy's going to get his new truck and my truck's going to go up and get fixed what needs fixing. So. Like I said, the musical truck. <laughs> I'm losing track of who's getting what and when and how and why and everything else. And all these trucks floating around and guys bouncing in and out of them. We'll get it all straightened out eventually, but uh, hopefully by mid next week I'll have my Mac. And then I can put my CB and my tools and stuff in it. But right now we got to switch trucks again. So hopefully uh, this is the last time for a while I get in that truck and it's fixed up real good and... Uh, we won't have to mess around with uh, playing musical trucks. But we're loading this second one up ahead of schedule, like I said. Get this one up there and deliver it. We should still be ahead of schedule when we load our third one to go to Allentown, and then all bets are off once we uh, get down there. So this here is the borough of Lycans. Don't show you too much of this one for some reason. Uh, they don't do a lot of camera work in through here. It's kind of a long, a lot of the uh, municipalities in this region are set up the way they are, maybe because of the way the ridge and valleys work, but they're long but narrow communities. It's like 
two or three miles long, but only a couple blocks either direction, uh, left or right from the main road that we're on. It's kind of interesting the way it works. Pottsville's kind of like that for the most part. Uh, Tower City back there is kind of like that. Uh, and a lot of communities out here that are set up like this. Now you said probably because of the way the ridge and the valleys work. You got a mountain range to our right and a mountain range to our left. So they squeeze these uh, burrows and towns in between the two mountain ridges. So that's how you end up with a long, narrow uh, community. Anyway, this is the uh, second load that we're taking up there and uh, get it unloaded and continue on with our day. So the second one is delivered and we're on our way to pick up that third one to take to Allentown. And boy, this weather is really deceptive. Um, it is 50 degrees right now. The sun is shining. It's a little bit muted, but the sun is shining. It's a nice mild day. I don't even need a jacket. Um, I mean, I got long sleeves on, but I don't need a jacket. It's really nice out. And, and tomorrow we're going to get like three to up to ten inches of snow and the bottom's going to fall out of the temperatures and by supper time tomorrow it's going to be in the low 20s with a 45 mile an hour wind blowing and drifting and white out conditions and everything else and we're going from spring to summer in like uh 24 hours but it's beautiful out today uh, even the grass is starting to get green in some places uh, so it's really deceptive how nice it is and how lousy it's going to be tomorrow but that's how March can be sometime in fact uh, some people are saying I don't remember the exact date but the superstorm in March of 1993 was this weekend so it's uh, kind of an anniversary event if anybody remembers that superstorm uh, they had 17 inches of snow all the way down into Birmingham Alabama and there was two to three feet of snow all the way up the eastern seaboard from uh, northern Alabama all the way up into New England brutal winds and really cold temperatures and everything else um, it was called the storm of the century the super storm it was a bad one and any of you people who are alive at that time and lived on the east coast I'm sure remember it uh, so it, this weekend is the anniversary of that storm and kind of fitting that we're going to get another storm it won't be quite that bad but um similar in the way it plays out and how it's going to be very cold and very windy um, and i don't remember the particulars from before that storm but it may have been kind of mild uh leading up into that one too uh, i'd have to look back through the history and see if the weather was warm in the days uh, leading up to that storm but uh, i remember it was a nasty one that one uh actually killed a lot of people a lot of people died in that storm just how bad it was it was like a white hurricane so anyway um, once again everything went off without a hitch so far so we're in good shape we're actually ahead of schedule um, probably when I get back since uh, somebody else is gonna be going in this truck next week I'm gonna rinse it off between the snow that we had on Wednesday and the uh, bit of mud and stuff that we have on the well road, uh, the truck's kind of dirty. So before I give it up to another driver, I'm gonna grab the pressure washer and rinse it off and clean it up for him a little bit. So Now whether that favor is returned to me, I don't know, but um, that's the way. I like to leave a truck better than the way I got it. If I can, there are times I get back so late that the only thing I can do is park it. But, um, 
I'd like to rinse it off for them if I can. They will see. It all depends on how things go down there in Allentown. Days I can get in and out of there in a half an hour, and there's other days where I sit down there for three hours to wait and get unloaded. So it's a roll of the dice. You don't know what you're going to get until you get there. All right, so we're halfway done loading this third one up to take the Allentown. And it's only 12.30 p.m., so we're in good shape so far. Uh, all you got to do is uh, get out of here, get up on 81, take that down to 78, and take that over to Allentown and get to our delivery location. Hopefully 78 isn't a problem. I didn't look at Google Maps yet, but I'm going to in a minute and see uh, what the traffic situation looks like on there. Hopefully we don't go through what we went through last Friday in the uh, last video. So hopefully we have a better time of it today. Nice to come out onto this freeway and not get into a cluster of traffic. Sometimes I come down off that ramp and right out into a cluster of trucks and cars and everything's kind of jammed up, but a nice free shot coming out of there today. And so it's kind of nice. This is a scenic area and through here coming down off of the uh, ridge that runs from Tremont all the way up to Hazleton. Uh, drop down off the ridge into the Susquehanna Valley, I guess, down there by Fort Indian Town Gap. So you come down through these mountains and it's kind of scenic in here. Um, nice in the summer when it's green, nice in the fall when uh, leaves are changing, but even now it's kind of nice. So we got about an hour and 15 minute ride now to get to Allentown from this point. So. 1251 should get there about between 130 and 2 depending on traffic and I looked at 78 and 78 was uh, free and green right now on Google Maps and of course that could change somewhere along the way but as of right now it's wide open so uh, we should be in pretty good shape weather's beautiful like I said 53 degrees sunny partly sunny never know that there is a snowstorm coming tomorrow it's just beautiful out today for early march it's a beautiful day kind of strange that it's a friday and there isn't much traffic on here that's uh usually fridays have a little more volume to them but we're rolling along real nice here don't have to pass anybody nobody passing us doubt if 78 will be this leisurely and relaxing but for now this is nice well i don't know what happened on here but the sign back there said that uh there was no traffic delays and Google Maps showed no traffic delays and we got here to the 40 get on ramp and uh, everything came to a screeching halt <laughs> almost literally top the hill and there was traffic stopped no warning of course I don't have a CB in here so uh, I can't get no warnings from anybody else as to what's going on but um, yeah we came to an abrupt stop here so I don't know what's going on We'll see. <laughs> the other day, I ran the side road and didn't need to. And who knows, maybe today, maybe I should have. But I thought I saw some uh, blue and red flashing lights up here at the top of this little hill. So I don't know, maybe somebody broke down in here. As you can see, there's like no breakdown lane. So if you get a breakdown or a fire or even a fender bender, there's nowhere to get off to the side of the road and let two lanes of traffic go through so not sure what exactly happened here we'll find out uh briefly well there's an emergency pull off up here so maybe they got whatever is going on into this emergency pull off but it sure did jam traffic up here looks like a couple cops with a big truck be 
broke down or if he was speeding through here or if he was in that right lane when he shouldn't have been. brought traffic to a screeching halt. <laughs> oh well, we're rolling again. Alright, so we made it across 78. We are here in the Allentown area. There is Samuel Adams Brewery off to our right. It used to be Stroh's Brewery and before that it used to be Schaefer Brewery. Uh, it goes back, it was built around the time I was born, late 60s, early 70s. And uh, took a tour there when I was a kid. I don't remember it, so I should probably do it again one time. But anyway, they're fixing to get off here on Route 100. Got a couple miles to go to get to our destination. Get this unloaded, and hopefully uh, there isn't a lineup of trucks in there. And we can get right on the pad and hooked up and unloaded and out of there. It's Friday, and uh, I want to get back up to the yard early enough that I can, like I said, rinse this truck off for the driver that's going to go in it on Monday, even though it'll probably get dirty because of the snow and salt on the ground, but still I want to give him a clean truck, not a dirty truck, if I can help it. Um, so, what is the temperature here? 55 degrees, look at it. blue skies, 55 degrees, beautiful day out today. Now let's see how long it takes us to get out of here. With this construction, instead of this being a yield sign where you can just come off the ramp and get on the road, you gotta come to a stop and there's so much traffic here that uh, it's not easy to get out. Let's see how long it takes Watson Town to get going here. Better get aggressive or uh, we're gonna back this ramp right up on the 78. Alright, he's getting going now. Let's see, here comes more traffic again. It's like it's so hard to get out of here that if you get a break you almost don't stop especially with a truck with weight if there's any kind of a break that you can get out um, instead of trying to pull out from a dead stop just kind of do a California stop and keep going but now there's a whole long line of traffic coming again so this ain't gonna be easy got them in both lanes here uh, they paused this construction for the winter and I wish they wouldn't have because they could have opened this up and made this so that you could just come out onto the freeway now let's see if I get a shot at it yes I do if I don't go now I ain't gonna get out now I'd like to get in that left lane but that ain't gonna happen. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There we go. We need to be in this left lane down further to make our turn to go into where we need to go. So you gotta get it while you can. See how much traffic there is down here. Actually, you got to get out of that right lane and be in this one because that right lane becomes a right turn lane here at uh, Shantz Road. See how it works out? I moved out of that right lane into the left lane, which became the middle lane, which that right lane turns right, and the middle lane becomes the right lane. All right, so let's see what we got in here. Do we have wide open or do we have to wait? Look at that, not a truck on the pad, wide open. All right, we're gonna unload and be out of here quick today. Nice.
In fact, I can even go down and turn around and straight line. No, I can't. I was going to go down there and turn around and straight line back it, but... You know, the yard jockey talking to a bobtail down there, so we'll just uh, put it on the pad the way we normally do. But there is plenty of room to go down here and turn around and come back at it and just straight line back it in. But we'll do it this way. was worth my salt I would have got that in one shot all this room and I still got to pull up for the day and we are headed home rinsed off the truck for the other driver uh, dropped the trailer hooked up the truck I'm gonna be using on Monday so we're all set and ready to go except I gotta make sure I put DEF in it and uh, get fuel Monday morning but otherwise we're ready to go so all in all today wasn't too bad got down there in Allentown and got right in and right out so it worked out pretty good done by three o'clock and then like I said I rinsed the truck off and all that good stuff so I don't like to leave a uh, guy with a dirty truck um, rinse it off I didn't brush wash it or anything like that it's supposed to snow this weekend but at least I rinsed the mud and grime and everything off it so when he gets in it Sunday night or Monday morning or whenever he's gonna go out and he uh, has a clean truck 